Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. Monday morning, yes, Monday morning in London lockdown, and time for one of Julian's. Yes, I'm wearing the cap, so it's time for an unboxing. Now, there's a little bit of a story around this unboxing, which I'll just give you briefly. Here is the box, by the way, here is the box. And the story is that company contacted me and said we'd like you to do a video of one of our products and as uh, a couple of companies have done this to me by the way and I'm very grateful and if you uh, run a company and you would like me to do an unboxing and a review of some of your products then please feel free to get in touch it's all part of the service anyway this company contacted me and I said yeah please go ahead send me the product so they sent me the product and then they sent me an email because the product comes from China and they sent me an email and said look we're sorry uh, we included by mistake a US plug and we meant to include a British plug so I said uh, okay not to worry uh, do whatever it is you need to do and uh, I'll delay the unboxing and so they emailed me back and said right we've sent you a British plug in the post so I said right okay so I left the box where it was didn't do anything with it and uh, a few days ago hey presto the package arrived from China I thought this package seems a little bit thin so I was patting it sort of like that checking it over opened it up it was empty hey presto it was like it was like Pandora's box and nothing escaped from Pandora's box except hope no a little uh, Greek mythology reference for you there anyway so I then contacted them I said uh, actually the box was empty and or rather the package was empty I said but I may have uh, an adapter of my own that will work so I had uh, a kind of charger uh, and I plugged it in but I couldn't tell if it was working because on the charger that comes in the box so I did sorry bear with bear with in the charger that comes from the box it said the charger will light up when it's charging but because I wasn't actually charging or rather wasn't using that charger uh, it wasn't lighting up and therefore I couldn't tell whether the unit was actually being charged or not so I emailed them about this and I said, ah, I may be able to get a plug adapter so that I can just plug the US plug into a British uh, Independent Sovereign Nation 3-pin plug, the sort of plugs everybody ought to be using, and then it will work. And they said, okay, well, we'll send you the money via PayPal, and away you go. So I said, all right, no, I'll try that. So I ordered a plug from Amazon. Plug came the next day, plugged it in. Hey, presto, a light came on in the unit, and it charged. I emailed them back and said, don't worry about the cost. I'll bear that cost myself and I'll do the video directly. I just had a couple of questions. So I emailed them a couple of questions and they responded uh, in the middle of the night, actually, today. That's probably Chinese time during the day or even American time. Not quite sure where they're emailing from. And so now it's time for the unboxing. So with that rather lengthy preamble out of the way, let's get to it. And I'm going to do a new thing today. Yes, not only am I wearing a different t-shirt, which you may or may not have seen before, depending on whether you are a regular viewer. Uh, you've seen this cap before because I did this on the last unboxing, but I'm going to use an overhead camera rig that I have set up, or rather I will set up because I need to use some of the equipment that I'm currently using to film this element of the video. So don't go away. We'll uh, get things set up and we'll get to it. You're excited, aren't you? I am. May not work, of course. I've not done this before. But it's worth having a go, isn't it? I mean, you always do something different on YouTube. Why not? We've got nothing else to do in lockdown except moan about the government. Only I said I wouldn't do that anymore. Okay, well, welcome back. And we have the overhead camera set up. I'm pointing at it now, so I'm pointing upwards. It looks a bit weird. I'll see if I can get my I'll see if I can get my face in it. I'm just a little bit excited about this. Right, see, look, that's me, right, down on the down on the on the table. Look, isn't that weird? I've, I've never done this before. I've, I've seen other YouTubers do it. And I think it's quite exciting. Anyway, let's get on with it. Right, we're taking it out of the box. Um, the box is open because uh, obviously I opened it up and then found that the charger was wrong and so forth. So that's the explanation for that. It's weird when you're doing this overhead kind of camera shot, you keep on looking up at the camera uh, as if you can see me, but of course you can't see me. So what is the item you want to know? Right, it is a Wuben and that is W-U-B-E-N, a Wuben. B1 and it is a cycle light and it is a front light for your bike. So let's open the box, take out the 
various bits and these bits as you can tell have been taken out before because I was checking out the system. This is the uh, part of the charging plug mechanism and that has a US plug on it. Obviously if you're in the US ordering this then you'll get a US plug and if you're in Britain you'll get a British plug. It was just a, an error that they sent it to me. This, and I'll take that bit out, is the light but we're going to look at that in a bit more detail later on. What else have we got here? In this box we have the battery pack here and we'll look at that in a bit more detail and we have a little booklet here of instructions. This is and I happen to know what this is so I'll tell you what this is anyway is a little remote control unit so you can operate the light while it's on your handlebars. I'm not sure what else is in here. Is there anything in here? I've actually opened this box previously. Uh, I'm not sure there is actually. It feels, it feels like there is but maybe it, oh, I think it's just yeah it's just padding. It's thick thick rubber padding. Well you're not interested in that are you? And here we can see a picture of the light on the box and let me just read out to you for you here what it says. It says bike light, well it says woo Ben, light up your life. And then it says bike light, high power wireless remote control bike light, 3600 LM, which I believe stands for lumens, uh, 36 hours run time, that's from the battery pack, uh, up to 179 meters uh, wide, wide kind of um, what do you call it? Field of field of light, and or rather uh, distance of light. Sorry, that's better. And a wireless control. And I showed you the wireless control that's here. So let's go through the various elements. First of all, this is a battery pack, or rather, this is the battery pack, and this goes with the light. So you attach this to your uh, top tube or I suppose you could attach it to your handlebars uh, using this strap, Velcro strap, or you could put it in a bag, a, a frame bag or some other bag, a top, a top tube bag or a front bag, whatever you have on your bike. And this plug unit here would plug into this unit here in that way. That then plugs into your socket and that is how you charge up the battery and when this is plugged in this little light or this little thing here lights up to show you that it's charging or that it's fully charged and then you would disconnect it like that. So I bought a plug adapter which is here so that I could then plug this US two pronger into my three pronger. Yes, Julian's got three prongs, lucky boy. And that's how that works. So this is the battery unit and then this is the light itself. And there is a bracket here which you put around your handlebars, put on there and then you lock it like that. And there are um, little rubber these, you can see these blue little bubba blue um, bits here that allow you to fix it to different sized handlebars. So it's a nice, it's a nice looking unit. It's very solidly made. Um, I'll get a, um, a a set of scales and weigh it for you, so you know what the weight of these various items is, because that's quite important, particularly if you're a long distance cyclist. So don't go away. Okay, here we have the scales and we want to just go that, what is that? It's actually quite heavy, doesn't it? All right, okay, now it's at naught. 
Can you see that? I've not done this before. I always get excited when I watch YouTube videos and they get the scales out and they weigh things. I think, oh, well, that must be a wonderful thing to do. Okay, so that weighs 161 grams. That's the light unit. This is the battery pack, and this is quite heavy. And that weighs 399 grams. The remote control, do you want to know how much that weighs? That weighs 14 grams. The uh, strap for the remote control, that weighs five grams. And if you add all those together, I haven't added them together in my head, but if you add them all together, you will get um, about 550, 550 grams there enough. So that's over a pound in uh, British weights. So that's not an insignificant weight. So let's just turn that off. I don't know how to turn it off. Anyway, you're not interested in that. So let's get that out of the way. Let's go back to looking at the light. Uh, let's go back to looking at the battery pack. So the battery pack is in this uh, kind of rubber, rubber surround. And as you've seen, it's quite heavy. And then you attach it to this. And this is, as I said, a nice, nice looking unit, nice looking color, solidly made. Um, I assume from aluminium, but don't quote me on that. And there are two buttons here, which you may be able to see. There's one here on the right hand side, which is the power button on and off. And one here, which is to change the modes of the power, I assume. So let me just press that. Does it need to be plugged in in order to work? Let's have a look. Plugged in there. Oh, yes, it needs to be plugged in in order to work. So there are four green lights there, which I imagine means that it's fully charged. And let's switch it on. There. And I'll just point that briefly up at the screen. Perhaps if I point it to the side, it won't be so bad for you. And I'll press this button. I'm just trying to see what this does. Does it make it brighter? I really thought it does make it brighter. You? Yeah. Uh, let me just press that again. Ah, there, I've pressed the power button again and it's even brighter. Can you see that briefly? And I'll press it again and that's even brighter. Good heavens. And I'll press it again and I think that's as bright as it goes. Now, this is so bright um, it's probably being a little bit blinding on the screen. Uh, if I hold it that way, I'm pointing it off to the side, now I'm moving it around. And I think if you take my word for it, that this is a very bright light. So you can see the, the green, the four green lights. You may not be able to see that because there's too much light shining on it, but there are four green lights there indicating that it's switched on, that it's working. So we can then tone down the light like that. Or no, we use that. Yeah, we use the minus button to decrease the amount of light. We press the power button to increase the amount of light. And there it's down to its lowest level. And now I'll press this button and I've turned it off like that. So I think you'll agree. I'm not actually familiar with what 3600 lumens means. Is a lumen the light from a single candle? I thought that was the case, although I suppose that would rather depend on how big the candle is. Anyway, 3600 is a lot, a lot of light. This remote control would attach like that and put onto your handlebars. I've got to be honest, I'm, saying, I'm not entirely sure what the benefit of this remote control is. After all, this is going to be on your handlebars like that. That's going to be on your handlebars like that. And um, there's not that much difference between pressing that button and pressing that button. I suppose you might have this attached to um, perhaps through your front mudguard or front rack or something like that. Uh, although you'd need a, uh, a different connection here or, or something to make the, the sort of tube smaller here to attach this. But anyway, you might not have this directly linked to uh, where you can reach it with your hands and therefore you would use the remote control. Other than that, hard to see what the benefit of the remote control is. And the amount of cable that you get between the battery pack and the light, 
as you can see, is about mm, two thirds of a meter, something like that, perhaps about two, two feet, perhaps two and a half feet, something like that. So it's not that long. Uh, it's going to be long enough if you've got the battery pack um, in a front bag or a top tube bag and you've got this on your handlebars or whatever it is. So this is uh, the instructions, which um, as, you, as many of you know, I'm 64, my eyesight is not great. These instructions always have really, really small writing on it. And I wish they'd realize that some people don't have great eyesight these days, but that's just a minor point and is perhaps not the fault of the Wuben people. So I'm gonna go back to the normal camera. Hope you've enjoyed that overhead camera. Look, do you want to see, you want to see a close up of my hands? See, close up on the back of my hands. Um, I could give you a close up of something, but that's not really why you're watching it. So I'm gonna go back to the normal camera and we're gonna sum up my findings about this light. So don't go away. Well, here I am back on the normal camera. Did you enjoy, did you enjoy those overhead shots? I thought they were really exciting. I hope they've come out. I hope they're in focus and uh, my hands don't look kind of weird. Anyway, so just going back, just to, so you know that uh, this is the light and you, won't, you don't think I, I switched them some way in order to do the overhead unit. This is the light and this is the battery pack and this is the remote control. This is the strap for the remote control and this is the instruction. So let me just uh, recap first of all. This is by Wuben, which is W-U-B-E-N. And you can uh, find their website. I'll give a link to the website below this video. And this light is called the B1 light. And so you can see uh, B1 user manual. Can you see that? Uh, Fairly small writing, as I said, for those people who are 64 or over even, or even younger, but just don't have very good eyesight. The first thing I want to say is that this light is not cheap. It is $139 or 139 pounds, and you can only buy it from the Wuben website at the moment, although I emailed them and they said it would be available from Amazon in March. Uh, it comes from China, it's made in China, it is sent from China and delivery from China is free at the moment. Now, I received this light from China, I received it in the post, there were no customs duties and I cannot guarantee that you will not have to pay some kind of customs duties or VAT. I'm not 100% certain about that. You may be able to find that when you order the light for yourself. So that's the first thing to say. The second thing to say, this seems to be uh, a very well-made, uh, strong, nicely designed, powerful front light with what is I think a pretty heavy battery pack, although I don't use these kind of lights, so I can't sort of compare this battery pack to other battery packs. 36 hours seems like a pretty big run time to me and allows you to do some substantial uh, cycling in the dark. So uh, what sort of people is this bike light for? Well, it's probably not for me because I don't tend to ride at night. I only occasionally ride in darkness or in dusk really. Uh, and I'm unlikely to go out for any night rides. But if you are a mountain biker, if you are a, a gravel rider and you like to go out at night or you like to go out through the forests or woods or bridal trails or whatever it is and you need a powerful long-lasting light then this strikes me as a pretty good example of the genre if you're going to go touring on it you're going to get 36 hours worth of runtime you need to remember though that unless you have a two pin or three pin or whatever it is socket adapter and you are therefore able to charge it at some stage on your long journey obviously 36 hours is a long time and you're not going to be running it for 36 hours during the night time uh, generally although if you went out for like a two week journey and you did a lot of riding at night you would at some stage need to recharge it but assuming that the battery life is genuine, and obviously I haven't checked that, but there's no reason to think that a battery of this size uh, couldn't power a light like this for 36 hours, although I'm no expert on that, um, then at some stage, yes, you are going to recharge it. But apart from that, this is a very powerful, good light. If you're a commuter and 
I suppose what I mean by that, you're a serious commuter. In other words, you commute every day. You've got a fairly long journey that might be, I don't know, 10 miles, 12 miles commute, something like that. And you're particularly during these winter months, you're doing a lot of that in the dark. This is going to be a good, useful light to have. Um, it's worth remembering, as I said before, that the weight is fairly substantial, but it's because you're carrying a lot of power with you. Some other lights that I've seen uh, allow you to use this battery pack the, uh, with a, a kind of USB connector. There isn't a USB connector on this, so you can only use this power socket, I would have thought, to power this particular battery light. So, just to recap, the Wubend people sent me this light for free. I did not pay anything for it. They offered to refund the cost of the adapter. I've said, don't worry about that. Uh, I wouldn't talk, put too much store on the fact that I had some issues with the uh, plug that was so, that, the, the wrong plug that was sent. That was that was a, a, an easily, easily understood error. And they were very helpful. They sorted it out straight away. They were very quick to sort things out. So in terms of customer service, OK, they were trying to get a review out of it, you could say, if you were a little bit cynical. But I thought their customer service was very good. They have been very straight with me down the line. Uh, they've also been very honest with me. As soon as they realized that they'd sent the wrong plug, they contacted me. In fact, I think they contacted me before I contacted them. So I didn't know until they emailed me that they'd sent the wrong plug and they said, we're sorting that out. So I wouldn't pay. Uh, too much attention to those little errors. If you are in the market for a very well made, very strong, very powerful, very long lasting front bike light, then I think you could do worse by checking out Wuben and having a look at the B1 light. If you're a little bit wary about ordering things from China, I don't think you should be, but if you're a little bit wary, if you want to wait until March, they say it will be available from Amazon, uh, presumably at the same price. The price may go up, I can't guarantee that, but either way, I think it's a good value, which does not mean cheap. It's not a, it's not a cheap item by any means. This is what I used to spend a lot of time watching the, the shopping channels. And if something was a little bit more expensive than something else, they used to say it was a considered purchase. This is a considered purchase. You're not, <coughs> pardon me, you're not gonna be playing around on the computer and say, oh yeah, one click ordering, I'll have one of them. 139 quid is a pretty decent sum of money, but for a good front light, it may well be worth it. So, hope you've enjoyed this particular unboxing. I'm sorry it's been a bit long, and I'd rather enjoyed the overhead shots. I hope you did too. So, watch out for more videos coming from me, and see you next time.